Well, COP19 is an important stop before Paris 2015. It's a path to the 2015 agreement. The kingdom's objective for this COP is to make sure that the agreement will be balanced, comprehensive, and at the same time, advance sustainable development. We work very hard to make sure that mitigation actions also address social and economic consequences. At the national level, Saudi Arabia is taking a lot of measures to ensure that energy is produced and used in a sustainable manner. We want to make sure that our precious resources are preserved and that renewable energies are tapped. The Kingdom has great plans and ambitions for solar energy. We are taking aggressive actions with regards to energy efficiency. To reach sustainability, the Kingdom is embarking on a carbon management program that would address capture from stationary and mobile sources it would promote industrial uses of CO2. In addition, it will advance our understanding of enhanced oil recovery and its contribution to climate change. As you know, the Kingdom won't need EOR for many decades to come. Developing countries that are part of the like-minded group share many common views that bring them together. Any future climate actions must be in line with sustainable development. Any mitigation action would have to be built under the Convention and its principles, and it should address issues of leadership from our partners, such as technology, finance, and importance of adaptation to start planning risk management for the future. It is everyone's responsibility and to the benefit of each and every citizen and residents in the kingdom to make sure that they contribute to the enabling of a sustainable future. The first concern for everyone is energy efficiency. Sustainable development means preserving all natural resources, including water. Individual action might seem small However, multiplied by the number of population, that small contribution becomes very highly significant.